Hello children. As you all know, in the previous two sessions, we had started with revision and we have already finished two revisions. And this will be the last revision of English 1. I have covered all the questions except the third question that is answer the following. Answer the following. The question and answers are given in the notebook. Okay, so according to that, after every lesson, whatever question answers are given, you will be learning all the question answers. Is it clear, children? Okay, today, first, before seeing the revision 3, we I am just going to explain how to write the exam. Okay, now see, children, this will be your paper on which you are going to write the exam. First, what you have to do is, you have to write your name. Okay. You write your name and then you write your standard and then the name of the school. Okay. You will write it on a sheet like this. After this, the first question. Okay. You can also write the subject also. Okay. If you mention the subject also, it is okay. Okay. Then after this, what you are going to do is, you are going to write question 1. Now, question 1 is fill in the blanks. Okay. Now, what you have to do is, see for example, question 1, fill in the blanks. Okay. The examples will be given. Here, it, they, it may be number 1, 2, 3, 4 or A, B, C, D, E. Okay. As per the question paper, you have to write the sub questions. No need to write here, fill in the blanks. Okay. You the, Only you put question number 1 and just start option A. You will write only the answer. Then option B, only answers you have to write. Okay, question 2 is true or false. There also A, B, C. Only answers you will write. True, false, true, false like that. Okay, then after that is answer the following. So, you will write question 3. First A answer, B answer. Now children... For example, now if you don't know answer B, okay, you have not learnt it and you are not, not knowing the answer. So, if you want to leave that answer, if you are not knowing, you naturally have to leave that answer, right? If you are leaving, then the next answer when you will be writing, you will write C, okay? Because now you have skipped B, okay? So, Please don't write here serially. When you are writing in your paper, whatever the sub questions are given in the question paper, the same sub question you have to write it in your answer sheet. In the same way, all the other questions. Okay. Now children, the last question, question number 9. Put these words in the correct boxes. There what you have to do, okay, question 9, what you have to do is make two boxes. You have to draw a line and make two boxes. There one side you will write things and one side you will write actions. Okay, whatever things or actions are given from the box, you will pick it and you will write under the heading. That's all. Okay, children. This is all about the paper pattern. Okay, now we are going to see revision 3. See here, like this, question number 9, like this box will be given. You have to write things and action and put under the correct heading. Okay. Now, the next question, add ing to the action words. Now, there, these words will be given. No need of writing these words. Directly, you add ing and write the answers for the exam. Is it clear, children? Even for 
a and an also the same thing just you write a or an but you remember you have to put the correct question number and the sub question is it clear children okay i'll be sending this revision on class wise notes okay you just revise it it is not compulsory to write if you want for your practice you can write otherwise it is not compulsory okay we are going to stop here for today and continue in the next session thank you children